Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga and You. I'm Sanjana Prasad. Today we're going to be doing a prenatal yoga practice that is recommended for your second trimester. But please consult your doctor and make sure you are aware of what your body needs, how you're feeling before you do this practice. Feel free to use any props that you need to. Let's get into the practice. Finding a comfortable stance, feet are going to be hip width apart, roll your shoulders back, your neck relaxed. We're going to start by inhaling, lifting the arms up towards the ceiling and palms are just facing each other in a nice Tadasana. As you exhale, you slowly bring your arms down. Inhale and lift your arms up. Exhale and slowly bring the arms down. One more. Inhale, lift your arms up. This time, interlock your fingers and lengthen up. As you exhale, you're going to bend to your right side. Inhale, slowly come back to center. Exhale and bend to the left. Inhale, back to center. Here again, the intention is not to go to the floor, but to start to open up the rib cage, just making space for your belly here. So as you exhale, bend to the right, but keep lengthening up towards the ceiling. Inhale, back to center. Exhale and bend to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, bend to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale and bend to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale and slowly bring your arms down. I'm going to show you from the side. We're going to do a mild twist here. As you inhale, lift your arms up again. This time as you exhale, you're going to twist. Right hand goes back, left arm forward. Turn and look at your right fingertips. Inhale, arms up. Exhale and twist to the left. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to the right. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to the left. Last one on each side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, right. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, left. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale and slowly bring your arms back down. Turning to the side again so you have space on both sides of the mat. You're going to keep your feet wide, about 5 feet, feet apart. If this is too much for you, you can always choose to reduce your stance. This is a time where you really have to listen to the body. We are not looking at perfection of how the posture looks, but more about how you are experiencing the posture. So with your feet apart, we're going to start by turning your right toes to the right side completely. As you inhale, lift your arms to shoulder level on both sides. As you exhale, lean to your right side, bring your right hand down, left arm goes up. I'm stopping here right at my knee, you don't want to go all the way, put pressure on the belly. None of that here, you're going to stay where you're comfortable. You can also use a chair or block here to support yourself. Stay there, think about sending the hip forward, opening up your chest and breathe. Three, two, one. Inhale and slowly come back to center. See if you can widen your stance just a little bit. As you exhale, bend your right knee and go into warrior two, Veerabhadrasana. Three, here again, you don't have to force your hip to go all the way down. Stop where you're comfortable. Two, one. Exhale, bring your forearm on your right thigh. Left arm goes all the way above. This, If this is too much, you can just take it straight up. Either gaze forward or look up. Parshva Konasana. Three, two, one. Straighten your knee, inhale and come up. Let's take another exhalation, bend the knee again. I just gave you a tiny break there. And this time as you inhale, you're going to take your right arm up into reverse warrior. Here again, you're really opening up through the ribcage. If you like, you can do some 
cactus arm movement here so as you exhale rotate bring the elbow in inhale and reach the arm out exhale in inhale up exhale in last one inhale up following inhale come back up straighten your knee exhale bring your arms down palms can be on the waist and you're going to turn your right toes forward left toes out for trikonasana keep the stance a little closer again listen to your body inhale lift your arms up exhale reach to the left and we're going to stop halfway here and breathe 3 2 focus is on opening the chest and 1 inhale and slowly come up widen your stance here let's get into warrior 2 exhale bend the left knee stop where you're comfortable body is still facing the front shoulders relaxed 3 2 1 your forearm on the thigh right arm goes either over the head or straight up breathe 3 2 space between your ear and shoulder you're not collapsing and 1 take a tiny break here straighten the knee come up once again exhale bend the knee and let's take the left arm back now your right hand is not going to collapse into this leg it's just barely grazing the leg for a little bit of support keep the left arm up open through the left rib cage exhale and bend the elbow inhale and rotate the wrist forearm and reach exhale in inhale exhale and inhale reach slowly come back up on exhalation and as you inhale release the leg bring your palms back to the waist turn the leg slowly bring your feet together and come back into samasthiti come here we're going to go down to the floor to a kneeling position child's pose coming into child's pose your knees are going to be as wide as your mat and you're going to stretch your arms forward you can use a block underneath your forehead if you need to if you don't you can completely relax give enough space for your belly here and breathe focus on long breaths you can inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth here following inhalation slowly walk your palms up and you're going to sit down on your heels with your spine nice and tall now as you inhale let's work on rolling the shoulders back lifting the chest up exhale come back into neutral inhale and lift up exhale back to neutral one more inhale lift up exhale back to neutral now this is your spinal movement we're going to combine the spinal movement with your arms so when you inhale your arms are going to be in cactus position you're going to retract the shoulder blades engage the upper back your back needs to be strengthened here as your chest starts to get heavier you want to avoid rounding so you want to really engage the shoulder blades and to counter that we're going to do garuda asana arms and we're going to alternate between the two let's begin arms go up as you inhale retract the shoulders engage as you exhale right elbow over the left wrap your arms inhale retract exhale left over right garudasana inhale exhale inhale exhale we'll do this one more time inhale exhale inhale and exhale 
slowly release your hands. Move slightly forward on your mat so you have some space behind you. Your knees can continue to stay apart. We're going to continue to work on opening up your chest and engaging the back. So for this, you're going to place your palms behind you, fingertips pointing towards your heels. Roll your shoulders back here. Again, you don't have to force this posture. If you're unable to do this, you can continue with the previous movement as well. Now, as you inhale, think about lifting your hips up, rolling the shoulders back. Allow your chest to expand. Exhale and down. Inhale and up. Your hips are opening up as well. Exhale and down. Last one. Inhale and up. Exhale and down. Slowly walk your palms forward and let's go back into child's pose. Relax the entire spine but also become aware of that engagement in your back that's making you stronger. With your eyes closed, slowly roll up. And you're going to take your palms and cup your belly with your palms. Take a few deep breaths here with every inhale and exhale. You're connecting with your baby. As you breathe, your baby breathes with you. Establish that connect through the breath. Slowly release your hands, open your eyes. You can sit to one side and come to Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet touching each other. Roll your shoulders back, spine nice and tall. Take an inhale here and as you exhale, you're not going to put pressure on the belly and reach for the feet. Instead, mildly lean forward and take your fingertips ahead. So if you notice, my spine is still lengthened. I'm not moving downwards. I'm moving forward. Stay there and breathe. One, two, three, four, Five. Walking your palms back. Let your left heel stay where it is. You're going to extend your right leg diagonally to the side. Turning your upper body towards your right leg. Inhale here. Exhale. Walk your palms forward. See if you can hold on to the toes. Again, if you notice, I'm not forcing my body down. There's no pressure around the belly. You're getting into an open forward fold. One. Two. 3, 4, 5, slowly walking your palms back, let's switch sides, right heel in, left leg out, turning the body to the left side, diagonally, so there is a mild twist and as you exhale, open forward fold here, for 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. Inhale and slowly release your hands and relax. For this next section, we're going to be using a bolster. If you don't have a bolster, you can use two or three pillows stacked one on top of the other to just give you some elevation and some comfort. We're going to turn around and lie down on the back. So lying down on the back, especially in your second trimester, this will really, really help. It's important so you're not overarching the lower back and there's no discomfort. So slowly turn around. Lie down and first you're going to lift your hips up and start to slide the bolster right below your lower back. So once you do this, you'll notice that you're more comfortable here. Your lower back is supported. You're already in a slightly elevated position in like a bridge pose. Now you can hold down to the bolster on both sides. Keep your feet hip width apart. Just one time as you inhale, you're going to lift your hips off the bolster. Stay there for a few seconds. One, two, three, four, 
five. Exhale and relax. Adjust the back, make sure you're comfortable. Now the next posture we're going to do is Viparita Karni. You want to practice this only if you're very, very comfortable and it might even help for you to have someone standing next to you. Your partner can support you in this posture. So you're going to continue using the support of the bolster here. Your hips are already elevated. Hold on to the bolster, bring your legs together. See if you can lift one leg up. If you can straighten, you can. If not, knees can be soft. Still very comfortable, lift the other leg also up and we're just going to stay there and breathe. This is really, really good for you, especially when there's a lot of water retention in your legs, you've had a lot of leg pain. Also, your legs are taking on more body weight, so it gives them some kind of a break, um, edema, all of that, very, very good. So you're gonna stay here. We'll hold for about 30 seconds to a minute. Your legs will slowly start to feel numb because you're allowing the flow of energy, flow of blood the other way around. Experience that, allow yourself that experience, keep breathing, let the legs be free. If you have someone supporting you, they can even support the legs or you can even place a chair and place your legs on the chair. Five, four, three, Two, one. Bend the knees and slowly bring your feet down to the mat. Lift your hips very gently and slide the bolster out. Bring your hips down. Turn to your right side carefully and you're going to come up to a comfortable seated position. You're going to turn to one side of the mat and we're going to bring the bolster or the pillows right behind you to practice Supta Baddha Konasana. So here again, you're going to first bring the soles of the feet together. How close you bring them depends again on your comfort. Hold on to the bolster always first for support. Keep it close to your back and then slowly with control, lean back, taking full support of the bolster and relax. You might even find it comfortable to use an extra cushion underneath the head so that the neck is more relaxed. But then that's up to you again to see what modifications you can make to feel more comfortable. If you don't require a cushion, you can just stay here. Allow your palms to rest on the belly. Let your chest open up, your shoulders open up. Allow your inner thighs to open up. Close your eyes. And notice how with every breath, You are more and more connected to your baby. This practice was for yourself, to prepare yourself, to keep yourself strong, but also to share this strength with your baby. With that intention, take a few more breaths here. comfortable you can do some deep abdominal breathing without too much pressure around the belly very gently release the hands you are going to slowly bring the knees together carefully turn to your right side use support of your hand and find your way back to a comfortable cross leg position. I really hope you enjoyed this video, prenatal yoga for second trimester. There is also a lot more that we can do, a lot more modifications because this is also a great time for you to work on the strength in your body. Keep looking forward to more videos and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.